navigating the world of AI video generators can be overwhelming, especially with so many options now available to the public. To help you find the best fit for architectural visualization, I'll be comparing several leading AI video generation tools. Each will be tested using the same prompt across both interior and exterior architectural scenes to see how they vary. To use these AI models, you can directly access them through the official website via the subscriptions, or use a platform like OpenArt, which gives you access to the many models all at once, so you can combine and compare much more easily before settling on one. UI is also very intuitive. Just select a video creation on the left sidebar, and you have some video generation options. I'll be testing the text to video first here. There are also a lot of tools for editing. From the select model, you can see the list of models which are current and up to date. Only Midjourney is missing since it does not publicly share its API and only allows use within its dedicated platform. So I'll have a look at that separately. I will start with Kling 2.5 and use the following prompt. It will focus on luxury hotel lobby interior with specified architectural details and camera movement. For each option, I will try to keep the settings as close as possible, but generally will stick with the lower credit options available for each model to compare. I'll set the aspect ratio to 16.9 and generate. Note that the costs vary a lot between models, as some are much more expensive, such as the Veo and Sora models, which you'll see later. Video generations usually take between one to two minutes, as it is a quite an intensive process. The first video is a simple camera movement through a symmetrical architectural lobby. It is very clean, well lit, and transitions from the doors to the inside quite smoothly. It has done a good job here in the architectural scene generation and video animation. On the right, you can also take the last frame and use it to extend the video. I will also try the new one 2.5 and run the same prompt. A very different output with warmer tones, more distorted perspective and boutique style lobby and art sculptures. Still a natural camera movement and good reflections in the floor, although the quality is not as crisp as the Kling 2.5. Next, Sora 2. For a fast 4 second video, you can see that it charges the most now at 200 credits. It is a shorter generation, but there are nice details such as the marble texture, logo on the doors, and greenery. The lobby is very long, with the reception desk rather far away, so not too sure about the architectural image generation. Next, Veo 3. By far the most expensive at 800 credits, so let's see if it's worth the cost. This generation took over two minutes, so it's the longest to generate compared to previous models. However, the animation is on another level in relation to the cinematography and the creative camera movements. It has even split the scene into two, although it's quite a short clip, so this would work much better on a longer one. Not only that, it's the only video to include people, and even the lighting and furniture design is very impressive. So I think definitely worth checking this one out. The final model I want to try is the video generation in Midjourney. This is not available on any other platform other than the official Midjourney site. And also technically, it doesn't have a text to video generator, as you need to generate the image first and then make a video out of it, which makes it a bit more difficult to compare. However, it is definitely worth mentioning, so I'll go through it. I've taken the video generation prompt and converted it into an image generation one, keeping the context as close as possible. I'll pick the option with the more sculpture hanging lights in, then press the animate manually button to get more options. It will use that image as a starting frame. And I'll keep the motion to low as it works better with architectural scenes. While there is not much creativity in the cinematography and perspectives, it keeps the context style very closely. So if you have complex architectural elements which you want to focus on, Midjourney is very good at maintaining these details. Video generation is also included in the Midjourney standard plan, which is quite inexpensive when you compare it to other options such as Veo or Sora. As an overview, I would say that for cinematography, Veo 3 stands out, although it is quite pricey. And for my elegant and simple scenes, Kling 2.5 did a great job too. For more creative scenes, Midjourney gives you more choice as it combines with the image generator. For all these scenes, apart from Midjourney, they are created from text, hence why the content of the scene changes greatly. For the next comparison, I'll try image to video generation, focusing on the exterior. 
I'll be using this prompt. And it focuses on an aerial drone camera view of an art center in a beautiful landscape. Starting with Kling 2.5, the costs for the resolutions between 720 and 1080 is only 20 credit difference, so I'll go for the Pro. And the output here is very simple forward camera movement, which just stops above the roof level. So it's a simple scene that works well with nothing too special, but quite inexpensive costs. Next, one 2.5. The resolution for 720 and 1080 are actually double, so I'll stick with the 720 and generate. I would say that this video is almost identical to the previous model, and the camera does not change much at all, but it does zoom in a little bit closer to the building to give some more detail. Next for Sora 2, I'll select fast and 4 seconds, which takes 200 credits, so more expensive than the previous two. The camera movement here is incredibly slow. Although it has added a nice cinematic camera and there's also some natural sounding audio. Finally, Bayo 3. Very expensive model, starting at 800 credits for 720. Once again, the Bayo model has taken on some creative camera movements and the only model to sweep along the waterfront before focusing on the building. 5 seconds is too short really to explore this more, however, if we extend this, I think it would create a very impressive scene. I won't focus on the sound effects, but for general guidance in all these exterior scenes, all three videos except one 2.5 added a nice ambient, similar sounding natural soundtrack. Only the one 2.5 tends to add just a simple background noise. Then finally image journey, I'll use that image as a starting frame and paste in the same prompt. Comparing to Wan and Kling and Sora models, the camera extends more towards the building to show a bit more detail. And even the tiling the roof actually looks better quality. Overall, for image to video, Bayo stands out by far for the best cinematography, while Midjourney keeps the architectural details quite nicely. The other three models are very similar with the slow camera movements, so there's not much difference between them. Bear in mind the cost for each model and whether it is the camera movement you want to focus on, or the architectural elements, and the features when generate a video. From these examples, Veo 3.1 stands out among the crowd for movie making and the drama. Due to its high cost, you may want to only use it for polished and final clips. For creative experiments and frame-to-frame -frame animations, I would recommend Mid Journey, which combines video and image generation with very low comparable cost when generating videos. Feel free to try these out for yourselves and see what you like best.